Okay, this week we're going to notice how your zones are the way they were supposed to be. And then we're going to take a sample of the parathesium and observe the ASCII and the ASCII spore on, in the microscope. So I'm using a dissecting needle to get a piece. Parathesium. Put it on the slide. And also use a drop of DI water. There we go. And that means a cover slip. <laughs> you can press down with the end the back of your dissecting needle or the eraser with pencil to smash them down a little bit. Okay, and then you'll be able to observe them under the microscope. Okay, that's that one. Well, can you take a picture of those with that? Um, I don't think so. Okay. Okay, so that's the prep for that. I can okay. look, okay. or you can look and tell me what it looks like. Okay, see? See those little round circles there? So it's just Okay. Like... Okay, it's too bad you can't see that. But it kind of looks like this, right? Mm-hmm. So, looks just like what it's supposed to look like. Okay, so then this one's done. Now, Okay, this week we're going to do Staphylococcus. We're going to see what you have on your skin and nose. So the things we're going to need is a 10% bleach solution to throw all your things in there that you're using, mm -hmm. sterile saline, and a auger plate of nutrient auger. So you take your sterile swab and you dip it into the saline. And you rub it on your skin, wherever you choose, your nose, your ears, and then you take your plate, and you streak it like this, and then you can streak it again the other way. You just put your used swab in the 10% bleach solution, and then you can close your plate up like this with the parafilm, and then label the bottom with your initials so you know it's yours. And what are you going to see when you put it under the microscope? Well, th you're not going to see anything this week. Next week we're going to observe um, under the microscope. Okay. This week we're just it's growing, so it hasn't happened yet. So then we put it into the 37 degree incubator and let it grow for like a week. Upside down. In this week we're going to be assessing antibiotic resistance to Staphylococcus. Things we're going to be needing are an auger plate, parafilm, um, sterile swabs, sterile saline, and some bleach solution. First we're going to take the sterile swab, dip it into the sterile saline, rub it on your arm or wherever you choose to take your sample, and then you take your auger plate and you rub your sample on there. This is called streaking. Put your used swab with a 10% bleach solution. Label your plate so you know it's yours. Okay, then we're going to take some antibiotics that you choose. This is an automatic dispenser for the antibiotics. And you hold it above your plate. And you pull this trigger. dispenses mm -hmm. the antibiotics and you take your sterile sterile forceps and you can press the antibiotics onto your auger to make sure they stay there. So what are these for? These are antibiotics and we're going to see how resistant the, they are to, the bacteria is to them. Okay. okay then we're going to close this up. I'm going to seal it with parafilm. Okay. 
and put it in a 37 degree incubator for a week. Store it upside down. That's it. And what are you going to see when you put it under the microscope next week? Well, next week we'll be able to observe it without a microscope. And you should have zones of inhibition. This is how your staff reacts with the different antibiotics. Okay.